Yes, the K word is stronger than the N word, at least currently. Misogyny and patriarchy has been around longer than slavery. Just don't use either, okay? Uh, how about no, you stupid fucking Karen? Hey everybody, it's me, Gas Guinness. I've decided to try out commentary because I want to start this channel back up, and I also believe these types of videos can get a lot of material for all you guys to enjoy. Alright, let's get right into this. You guys all know the term Karen, right? It's a slang term that is meant to describe a rational and argumentative middle-aged woman. They are commonly associated with people asking for the manager of an establishment when a minor inconvenience pops up, but now, a few feminists are taking the term and trying to make it as bad as the n-word. Before I take a look at everything I've gathered, I just want to say that if you're trying to convince people that something is as bad as the n-word, don't say the word you're comparing it to either. Why would you say a word is as bad as the n-word if you're not going to say the n-word, but you're saying Karen? It just shows that in your mind you believe they are not the same without you blatantly saying that. Yeah, I know I showed this tweet at the beginning, but I actually got to talk about this. Why would you censor yourself, but you don't censor the stupid condescending picture you stuck to your bastard ass tweet? Like I said before, you're subconsciously showing that your argument is void. Alright, to get past that argument that I've repeated, I want to talk about the fact that they bring misogyny and patriarchy into this. Last time I checked, I don't believe patriarchy equates to understandably calling people who make total asses themselves a derogatory term that is really just a meme and not malicious at all. Can I repeat myself? The term is for people who make total asses of themselves. It is not directed toward a half of the population comprised of women, you walnut. Why would you use a word like misogyny? That will just make the word lose its meaning because you're applying it to a term that in nature is justified. Funny how at the same time you're trying to change the meaning of a slang term, you're also misusing a term to fit your bullshit agenda you want to cram down everyone's throat. How the fuck is the actual word racist? I understand where you're coming from when you say sexist, but racist? I am almost certain that every race has its fair share of Karens. There's no need to include that it applies to white women, because I've seen black Karens, Latina Karens. Karens are a box of crayons, they don't really apply to a race. Maybe you could say that Karens are predominantly white, but that argument is kind of dumb because the term is used, from what I've seen, in Western countries, which are almost always predominantly white, making it inevitable for the majority of Karens to be white. There is really no correlation with being an entitled bitch and being white. Calling out a woman for being a bitch who just wants to start trouble is not getting rid of the right for a woman to stand up for herself. Why would a harmless meme take away the ability for you to speak your mind that is in fact supported by the Constitution? If you are so sensitive that a lighthearted slang term is going to take away your rights, that is just showing that you are a literal pussy. Don't try and call yourself an empowered feminist if you melt like a snowflake when you get called a Karen for being irrational. Alright, I talked the shit out of this tweet. Let's get to another one. Does anyone think the Karen slur is woman hating and based on class prejudice? Holy shit, are you being deadass right now? Class prejudice? Ugh. It is certainly used enough by white men for it to be morphed into a misogynistic slur. Also, those names are classically working class, and I do object to classism within this narrative. The ageism too is a massive problem. I think countering racism with ageism is not great. Why are you saying you're against racism and sexism, but then you're being like, oh, it's been used by white men for it to be morphed into a misogynistic slur. Does that mean just because white men have used it, it's misogynistic, and white men are inherently misogynistic and racist? That's 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 literal racism and sexism, uh, if you didn't understand. Um, okay. When I was in my 20s, the slur against younger working class women was Sharon and Tracy. I honestly can't think of any equivalent for men, but I am so sick of women, including those of us that have devoted our lives to women's liberation being spoken about so disrespectfully. Actually, there are a lot of terms that refer to men that are not really in a good light. Uh, take Kyle and Chad. Since both of those terms are like derogatory terms for men, and I usually see white men being called Chads and Kyles, does that mean that, oh my gosh, I, I need to speak of this immediately, the terms Kyle and Chad are also racist and sexist, I'm gonna cry. She says many women like her devoted their lives to women's liberation, she's sick of those women being spoken about so disrespectfully. No, if you're genuinely fighting for women's liberation, 
I have respect for you because I think feminism itself is inherently good. But there's these people that use feminism to push their bullshit agenda that does nothing for the actual movement. I, uh, I think every time I pronounce the letter P, um, there's been a pop in the mic, so I, 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 uh, I gotta move my face away from the mic. As I was saying, I believe feminism itself is quite alright because it's empowering women to make a difference. Yes, in the United States, men and women are equal and share the same amount of rights, but I think the feminist movement can be used to empower women in countries that stone them. <coughs> the Middle East. Even though I pushed this point off the table, I just wanted to say that no, like I said before, the term is referring to people who are argumentative, entitled, and or extremely petty. It has nothing to do with classism, you absolute sea cucumber. In conclusion, the term Karen will never be as heinous as the n-word because one actually has history, and the other is just a meme. People need to stop taking themselves so fucking seriously and laugh a little bit. Holy shit. Eh. What do I know? I'm just an egg. Baby.